Okay, so what do you need? First you need a, a camera, a tripod and make sure the camera is not moving while you are recording this. Second you need an object, put the object somewhere into your frame. That's it actually. So um, first you can just move through your room. Then you see your object and pretend like you are pulling the object towards you. So Now, very important, remember where you were standing. Go to your object, take it, go back to the position where you were standing. And now you can do whatever you want, just go away. Okay, so now just take the clip you've just shot, so I'll begin from here, then I see the object. And in the grabbing movement, so right here we want our object to fly towards us. So therefore, right when you begin with this movement, set a cut. Now, very important, make the whole picture big. Type in Shift Command 3, make a screenshot. So now put the screenshot into your timeline, make it 16 by 9. Go to the Effects tab, type in Draw Mask and put the Draw Mask onto your picture. Just like that. Now we need to cut out our object. So first I'll make it a little bit bigger. And now in this pull movement we need our object to fly towards our hand. But first we need to crop the lower clip. So go over to crop and make it like this. But now we have this black bar right here. Now we need a clip where um, the shaker is not there anymore. And therefore we go to the end of our recorded clip, right to this movement where we already have the shaker in our hand and the table is already empty. And also set a cut right here and delete all in between. And now we'll take just this clip with us having the shaker already in our hand. And now because we applied the crop to the whole clip, we need to readjust it right here. Put the again to zero. Now go to the picture of the shaker, we've cut it out. Go to transform, add keyframes, now skip, I would say five frames. And now make it move into your hand. Also adjust the size of it. Now we already have this flying movement, but right when it's at our hands, we need to set a cut right here, delete the rest. And also set a cut in this clip where we are only pretending grabbing the shaker. So also set a cut right here. And now the clip with us having the shaker in our hand appears. And it looks like the shaker is flying into our hand. And to make it look even better, put the directional filler on the shaker. And now it looks even more realistic. And in the end you can just add some sound effects to it and then it will look like this. Mm -hmm. 